Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome back, friends. Welcome back to another video lecture by Kami Microbiologist. Today, in this video lecture, we are going to talk about BCB media or Bromo Cirrosol Purple Lactose Agar medium. Now, this is actually a lactose based medium and it is also a differential non selective medium as well, which we mostly used for the identification and isolation of enterobacteria type of bacteria or coliform bacteria that is mostly isolated from the urine stool food dairy products and water samples this media was first of all proposed by a scientist named Brits in 1892 okay actually they you know replace the litmus and using bromo -cyrol. litmus is actually sensitive but bromo uh, cyrol is uh, more stable that's why they replace the litmus with bromocyrol now this media is available in the form of broth as well as in the form of agar but mostly we use agar form of the media uh, uh, broth is very less used now let's talk about the composition of this media this media is composed of uh, peptone which have 5 gram lactose lactose contain 10 gram bromocyrol purple that is you know and the uh, purple indicator 0 0.02 gram beef extract 3 gram distilled water 1 liter uh, agar 15 gram so these are what these are the ingredient and their amount in 1 liter now let's talk about the principle of this ingredient uh, means the principle of the media and the uses of the ingredient so all of you better know that lactose is uh, specially used as a carbohydrate and when the bacteria use it or ferment it so what actually they will do they produce the acid and due to the production of the acid what happened the pH will be dropped down and due to this way the you know pH indicator what actually they will indicate due to this way the color of the media which is purple is converted into yellow that can show the acid formation that can you know mostly uh, present as that acid is produced then we have uh, uh, beef extract so beef extract and peptone are specially used to provide nitrogen carbon vitamins that are used for the bacteria for their growth and division then we have distilled water that is used to mix all the ingredient and we have agar that is acting as a solidifying agent to provide a stable environment through which the bacteria grow in the form of colony then how to prepare this media first of all what we have to do we have to weight the 30 gram of the dehydrated media means this media and dissolve it into one liter distilled water now after that we have to slowly heat to boil it and slowly stirring it until and unless the you know the the, the material are completely dissolved then we have to dispense it in, into the tube uh, if it is broth so we mostly use the tube now after that we have to sterilize it in an autoclave at 121 degrees celsius for 15 minutes after autoclaving then we have to cool down it and at 50 degrees celsius then we have to pour it into sterilized petri plate okay if it is uh, agar so obviously we l uh, load it into sterilized petri plate and we will let it to solidify after solidification we have to inoculate the bacteria uh, on the surface on the surface of the agar by streaking technique and then we have to incubate it at 37 degrees centigrade for 18 to 24 hour let's talk about the result of this uh, bacteria that how what type of bacteria we get on this media so as i already talked that we mostly get uh, the enterobacter uh, enterobacteria on this media so Klebsiella, E. coli, Pseudomonas, uh, we have Enterobacter, Salmonella, all these are what? All these are the Enterobacteria. So there are some other as well, but these are the most important. Uh, the gram-positive bacteria are not grow on this media due to the presence of uh, dyes. Now, let's talk about the Klebsiella. Klebsiella mostly produce mucoid yellowish colony as we already talked in other type of the media. Uh, it means that it is lactose fermented. Then we have uh, E. coli that are produce uh, yellowish colonies, uh, so it is also lactose fermented. 
in this media they uh, although uh, e coli doesn't require lactose but in this media they mostly use the lactose so pseudomonas are colorless irregular colonies it means it is lactose negative uh, enterobacter are small yellowish uh, colonies it means it is also lactose positive salmonella entrisi are round smooth colorless colony it means that it is lactose negative so in the picture as you can see these are what these are the lactose negative bacteria growth and these are the lactose positive bacterial growth it means um, this these are the e coli these are the klebsiella these are the enterobacter aeruginosus but how we differentiate each of the bacteria remember guys in case of the uh, uh, in case of klebsiella you mostly found uh, mucoid colony means uh, sticky like colony but in case of e coli you found yellowish uh, large colonies not mucoid colony but large colonies now in case of the enterobacter enterobacter aeruginosus it can produce the same colony as e coli but the size of the colony will be smaller let's talk about the pseudomonas and salmonella enteritis uh, pseudomonas is actually producing the color uh, colorless round co colorless irregular colony means not round colonies and if you see the salmonella uh, enteritis so it mostly produce a round smooth colonies colorless smooth colonies so this is all about the bromocerol serol purple lactose agar medium i hope you guys get idea about that thanks for watching